so in this video I want to talk about angle measurements and really just to give you a few tips on measuring angles because they can be difficult especially to new programmers. So recently I was helping a programmer um, who had just finished training measure sort of a complex angle, um, kind of hard to set up. It actually involved quite a few steps, uh, a few constructions and a few settings I had to adjust. So I thought I'd share it with you so um, hopefully it will help you in your angle measurements. Okay, so let's have a look at the drawing first. Okay, so here's the drawing and the angle we're talking about here is dimension 21, uh, that 10 degree angle. And the difficult part here is um, we're measuring to the, the middle of a slot really. And also there's no orientation, no orientation features um, marking that, uh, you see that dotted line for the XX section view. So there's no features associated with that. So we had to set up um, a special type of a construction for that. Okay, so I'll show you how I handled that in PCDMS. Okay, so here we are in PCDMS and you can see the CAD model for that part. And I've gone ahead and created two planes on either side of that, that slot. So the first thing I'll do is construct a mid plane between those. So we'll just go to constructed plane, pick my two planes, in the list and we'll call this mid plane and the type will be mid plane and create okay so there we go so the next thing i need to do is i need to establish what is essentially the z axis on this part because i need to measure to that and from that um, in this example so what i'll do here and what i did for the solution for um, programmer I was dealing with was I constructed what's called an alignment plane. So what I want to do is construct a plane that is normal to the Y plus axis. So to do that I first need to put my active work plane in Y plus and go to constructed plane. In this type of construction I don't pick a, a feature from the list. I just select alignment as the type and I'll call this um, construction y plus plane and create there we go so let's close that okay so let's just drag that out so if i zoom in here and rotate what you will see is a tiny triangle representing that constructed plane that is normal to the y plus axis so essentially when we're in a 2, 2D view, that will represent this blue arrow, which is the Z axis in this case. Okay, so that's next. So the third thing I wanna do is I wanna change something in setup options. If we hit F5 on the keyboard, under the dimension tab, you can see there's two different ways to display or deal with angle degrees. The default setting these days is zero to 360. But because I'll be working with supplemental angles, I want to change that to 0 to plus minus 180 degrees. And you'll see how that will come into play in a minute. Okay, so as I mentioned, we will be working with 2D angles in this example. So when we're working in 2D angles, we need to be mindful of the work plane. And as you can see here, if I rotate a little bit, we're actually working in the X minus work plane. So I need to set my active work plane to X minus. There we go. Okay, so now we're ready to deal with that dimension. So I'll go ahead and open the angle measurements. And in this case, I'll pick mid plane first, Y plus plane second, And you can see it's given us an angle of minus 169.9 or essentially 170 degrees in the negative. And the reason it's negative is because we're measuring in a clockwise direction. So when we see the two radio button selected, that means we're measuring to the second selected feature, to the Y plus plane. And that is from the mid plane. So in that case, that is negative 170 degrees. When I check the supplemental angle checkbox, it will give me 
the 10 degrees that I'm looking for. So a supplemental angle is either of the two angles which make up 180 degrees. So in this case, 10 degrees and 170 degrees. So in this case, it is a positive angle because we're measuring that clockwise. Okay, so let's uncheck supplemental angle and clear the list and we'll try it in the reverse order. So let's pick Y plus plane first, mid plane second, and you can see now it's a positive 170 degrees because we're measuring it counterclockwise. If I check the from, you can see it's a negative 170 degrees because it's, it's coming from the mid plane. And in this case, again, if we hit the supplemental angle, we have that 10 degrees. So we're either gonna get minus 10 degrees, positive 10 degrees, minus 170, or positive 170, whichever way you look at it. So it is a little confusing, but they've made it a lot easier for the user with the two from buttons. Oftentimes I tell new programmers, just keep playing with the two from supplemental angle and you will, you'll finally get the dimension you're looking for. So then we'll just round that off to 10 even and then hit create and close. So there are reasons why the two from We'll, we'll give positive negative and the supplemental angle as well. Um, understanding it does help, but um, it will eventually get you the angle you want. Um, always remember that in the Cartesian coordinate system, when we measure clockwise for an angle, it's negative, counterclockwise is positive. Okay, so that's about it. Hopefully that helped you and you found it useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.